What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Amazon home decor haul. You guys already know, especially if you are subscribed to my channel, I do Amazon home decor hauls all the time. I really try to dig through Amazon and find unique pieces to elevate my home and share them with you guys because I know a lot of you are elevating your home. I love Amazon. I know you guys love Amazon home decor hauls. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Okay, I am gonna start by a few pieces that I'm still waiting to be delivered. I wanted to start with these because I didn't wanna forget about them. The first is this linen chair. I went down to the Restoration Hardware outlet to find a linen chair to put in my new office space and they were insanely expensive and I just, I couldn't bring myself to spending that. Even at the outlet, I was like, mm -mm, no, no. A couple of you recommended World Market and I did really like that chair, but then I ran across this one on Amazon. And what I loved about this one is it's very sleek and very modern and I thought it was the perfect piece to add to my primitive, super, super old desk. So I'm still waiting for that. They, it says it's out of stock, but I was able to purchase it and then they'll update me when it delivers. I am so excited for this piece. I think it really goes with the vibe that I'm going with and I think it's gonna look so good. And I love, again, that it has those modern lines. I do know there's a lot of chairs that have, you know, the pleats or different things, but I love that this one was just super clean and modern. So I will keep you guys updated when I get that and let you know how I like it. I share home decor books all the time on my channel. I love home decor books. Oftentimes I will go through them, you know, as I have a cup of coffee or even a glass of wine and just get inspired. I like to study just by looking at them and really just kind of fine tune my style and sometimes study them before I go out shopping. So the first book that I got is this at home home decor book. I love this one. I've already flipped through it. It's so beautiful. It inspires me so much. And again, I really love having different home decor books. I've talked about this a ton, but it's almost like having Pinterest just kind of fine tuned and kind of tailored a little bit more to my style. So I picked up this home decor book and I'm still waiting for the other two. Um, oh, I got this one too. This one's another one that I got and I love this one, you guys. This one is so good. This one is called The Authentic Home. It's a huge book. Look at it compared to this one. Perfect for styling your coffee table or any kind of space, a console table. It's massive. It's so beautiful. And this one has such good imagery. It's so good. I loved this one. And sometimes I'll go a few months without ordering home decor books. And then all of a sudden I'm ordering like five of them. So, you know, as a home decor lover, I just cannot get enough. It's kind of like a win-win because not only do I get to have the home decor book for inspiration and be able to go through it, but it also doubles as home decor and you need books for home decor, for shelves, for coffee tables, for all different kinds of reasons. So I'm very, very picky with mine. I really do try to buy ones that are my style and that I can find inspiration from. This one's so good. Let me put this back. Okay. I need to zhuzh this area. I am going to zhuzh it very soon. And then I got two more home decor books that I'm waiting to arrive. So I will update you guys over on Instagram as soon as I get them, how I like them, or even like over on the vlogs, I'll probably update those as well. By the way, if you're not watching the vlogs, you definitely should check them out because I try to share some type of home decor in every vlog. I would say nine out of 10 have home decor in them. So check those out. Okay, the other home decor book that I got, I gotta go check my orders because I can't remember the names, is of common origin. And when I saw this one, it shows a couple photos that you can flip through, let me show you. So I was like, okay, this is gonna definitely be my style. So I ordered this one as well. I'm super excited to receive this one. And then the other one that I got, or the last home decor book that I got is called Eat, Drink, Nap. This one just looked super pretty and I thought I would really like this one as well. Again, I don't have this one. It's on its way, but it didn't arrive in time and I really wanted to get this video out so I just didn't wait for it. But again, I will update you guys over on Instagram when these come in. I have been 
insanely inspired to start cooking again. When my husband and I first got married, I really loved to cook and bake and make things. And lately I just have been re-inspired to cook and bake. Honestly, it's because I started watching Joanna Gaines' cooking show. I just, I don't know, it just made me feel like she simplified it and I just was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to start cooking again. So I picked up both of her cookbooks. I know. And I actually held off on these for a long, long time, but my friend was like, they are amazing. She said that what she really loves about these cookbooks is a lot of the recipes are things that you already have in your house. You don't have to go buy a ton of new ingredients. And I was like, sold right now, getting on Amazon, ordering these. So I have both of her books. I've been super excited. I haven't made anything out of them yet because I just got them, but tonight I'm actually making her lemon bars. So I will keep you guys also updated over on Instagram. And I mentioned this one in the vlog, but I don't think I put it in a haul yet. So I thought, you know what, I'll add this to the haul. Again, I just feel really inspired to start cooking and start baking and really taking you guys along that journey. I love having homemade food, all of that. So I picked up this sourdough um, bread book and I want to start making bread as well. I know I might be a little ambitious, but you know, I just, I'm feeling super inspired. And I, as you guys know, I've shared a ton over here on my channel about me elevating my kitchen, elevating the things that I, my kitchen tools and all of that. And it has really, really inspired me to start cooking and making things and just doing all of that. So I'll keep you guys updated. And the sun's going in and out, of course. Continuing on with items for the kitchen, I bought Zach, my husband, a Nespresso Breville espresso machine. <laughs> and I got him a couple of things. So I'll show you guys that. I also got that on Amazon. But I got him a couple of pieces to help him with his espresso in the morning. I got this little cup. It was super affordable off of Amazon. This way he can just pour his espresso. He likes to just drink his espresso straight up. So this one I thought when we make nice little espresso drinks like eggnog lattes and other lattes, I thought this was a really good item to have. But then I also got him these double lined espresso mugs because like I said, he likes to drink his straight up. So he'll just drink them straight out of this because they're double lined. He was trying to grab this one and it does like burn your hand off. We, all, we also have a couple other mugs that are just single lined from CB2 and he wasn't able to like really hold it. So these have been amazing for him. He loves them and they are so cute. Okay, other kitchen items. I got these tulip shaped Weck jars for desserts. Like I said, I've been super inspired to start cooking again. I've already made a caramel kind of custard dessert in these and they are super cute or you could do like little um, overnight oats or you could do little parfaits in these. I think that these are so cute. I can't wait to use these more. You could do like little souffles or different kinds of things, but I loved these. Next for the kitchen, I actually ordered these back around Christmas time and I used these during Christmas and it's just these linen napkins. I also got a linen tablecloth as well, but it's packed away so I didn't have that on hand, but these are perfect not only for table styling or you know just dinners, but also for baking and like you know, when you're making breads and kind of covering your breads and stuff. I really, really like these. They are super nice quality and I'm definitely going to be ordering another set or two. I was super inspired by one of my clients when I was styling at their house. They had a, what's this called? Butcher block. And I thought, you know what? I have wanted a butcher block for a really long time. And I just kind of felt like it's fine. I have cutting boards. I don't really need it. But then I went to one of my client's houses to do some styling and they had their butcher block out making their lunch. And it was such a vibe to be honest. And they keep it out all the time and just kind of chop on it and clean it and like have it as a cooking surface. Also with Joanna Gaines cooking show, she does the same thing. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to get it. And I did. So I got this one. I went with the lighter wood because I do want it to patina over time. You guys know I love a patinaed look. I love an aged look. And I really try to find things that will age over time when I have them. So later in life, when I am passing them down, if I still 
have the pieces. They will be patinaed and we'll have all of our, my hard work that I've cooked and baked on over the years. So got me a butcher block. The next thing I got was some vanilla, some very, very pricey vanilla. Rumor has it that this is Martha Stewart's favorite vanilla. This is the box it came in and then this is the vanilla. I'll keep you guys updated on how this is. I'm not really sure. However, I will say I actually kind of want to make my own vanilla. Now that I realized how easy it is, it just takes some time to set. I wanna make my own. I picked up a set of four of new taper candle holders. I saw similar ones to these at West Elm when I was there recently, and I saw these ones on Amazon, and I thought, wow, these are so beautiful. I love that they're glass because you can mix them with so many different styles. I feel like they look beautiful on linen or wood. I feel like they are almost like not there, but there, and I just thought that these would be so beautiful to add to my collection and that's really it. I just, I loved them. I thought that they were stunning. Those candlesticks, although I could put them on my coffee table and you know, on a bookshelf and things like that and I probably will, I got those specifically for like a dinner table setup. I got this candlestick holder specifically for coffee table styling, putting on a stack of books or even a console table, so pretty. I love that this one was a little bit more masculine, a little bit more hefty and just a really large piece. So I picked this candlestick holder up as well. The next item that I got is this little glass container. Now, if you guys have followed some of my past videos, I've shared this with you guys before, not this specific container, but this idea. I have these handmade containers that I, or glass little boxes that I purchased through Etsy. This lady welds them and they're beautiful, but I saw this one on Amazon and I absolutely adored this one. It's quite different from the other one that I have. I love that it has a little handle, it has two different compartments and the gold on it is that perfect aged brass look and I love it. We like to take Polaroid pictures and save them because they're like a tangible thing that you can share with your loved ones or friends when they come over. I love to put this like on a coffee table, even in like a guest room sometimes is really cool. We just have some pictures that I took recently from my birthday and we have started this whole new box. Like I said, the other one that we have is stuffed. So I needed a new one and I wanted a little bit of a different look. And this one was super affordable too. I feel like right now, I don't know if you guys are feeling this, but we're in between Christmas and spring. So you don't have the fullness of your home being decorated from Christmas, but it's not, it's a little too early to bring out your spring decor. So I am currently doing a little winter refresh in my home where I'm just sprucing it up a little bit. And I picked up some new greenery. This is actually my first impression because I haven't yet pulled these out. I got these from Amazon and I thought, okay, I kind of want to do some sprucing. I did decide I think I'm going to go with real plants because in our bathroom I had a real Christmas tree and then I put my faux olive tree in there and it just doesn't hit the same. So I might be returning these, but I thought I would still share them with you guys because they are pretty cute. They do look pretty fake, I'm not going to lie, but if that doesn't bother you, the like daintiness of these are pretty cute. And I think they could be really cute in a space like this. I don't know, they do look quite fake. They had great reviews though. So like I said, if you're someone who doesn't mind faux plants, you might really, really love these. I'm currently working on a client's home and we she has a coffee bar. So I saw this on Amazon. I thought this was perfect for a little sugar container. You could even swap out the spoon for like a little gold spoon, silver, black whatever i just thought that this would be super cute in a little like coffee bar area so cute you could also put some finishing salt in here i just i thought this was adorable i'm really itching for some spring you guys like i said i'm doing a winter refresh but once spring comes i am going to try to really fill my house with some fresh florals i actually went to the store the other day and there just wasn't a lot of florals out right now a while ago i got these floral shears and i love these i think that they're so pretty i think that even when you are like working with your florals they look so good but I will say, if you have something with a super thick stem, they're not the best to cut the stems with. They, they're, they're a little painful. So I got on Amazon and found these ones, which are just as aesthetically pleasing. They have the wood handles. I love these, they're so cute. 
but these ones are that hefty sheer that really gets those thick stems. So new floral shears. I needed to stock up. I don't know what it is. I talk about this all the time. I have a thing for luxury hand soap. I don't know why I don't like it because I feel like I'm just, you know, washing dollars down the drain, but I, I just like it. And a lot of you guys mentioned that I should just buy inexpensive hand soap and just fill up my jars, which I may do in the future. I picked up a new Aesop hand soap because we needed to replace our hand soap. So I got another one. I really, really, really love Aesop. It's good. I really like it. I don't like that I like it, but I do, I like it. We have some family coming into town, so I'm going to, and I'm gonna do a video on this as well, but currently I am cleaning our home and just kind of getting it guest ready. And a lot of you have been asking how to prep your home for guests. So I am gonna be doing a video on that, but I picked up a couple of things just to kind of spoil them during their stay. One being <laughs> this Aesop mouthwash very unnecessary. If you don't want to spend this kind of money on mouthwash, you could put some mouthwash, some inexpensive mouthwash in a gorgeous decanter and really elevate your space like that. I'm not going to lie. I saw this gorgeous bathroom on Pinterest and they had all kinds of luxury things on, on the shelves. And one of them was this, and I just felt like I needed it so unnecessary, so unnecessary. It's gorgeous, you guys, it's so beautiful. I also picked up these little hand soaps. I doubt that these are real because they, they're just not very strong, but they are so pretty. I just thought they would be gorgeous for styling. And those of you who get me, get me. So I got this little set right here. Like I said, they don't, they don't smell very strong, but I thought these just in a little wooden bowl would be so beautiful, like such a beautiful little setup. So I got this little set. I picked up this heavy marble tray. It is heavy, but I thought, okay, let me see if I can do this. Okay, I'm, I'm, this is like getting a little sketch here, but I thought I might put this in the bathroom. I might do wood, I haven't decided but I might put together a little setup for our guests that are coming in. And I thought the little soaps, I mean, mm, you guys, of course it's gonna be styled a little bit better. And I will be sharing that. Oh, I gotta put this down, this is making me nervous. I will be sharing that in that video that I do, just kind of what I do to prep for guests because I get them snacks and I like to do little baskets and things like that. So I will be doing that and I will be sharing it. All right, and then the last few items of this Amazon home decor haul are these alabaster chess pieces and I have another set over there that I'll share as well. I thought that these were so unique I just, I loved these and I thought, wow, these would be gorgeous on a coffee table, on bookshelf styling, but even more, I was thinking of like a gentleman's area or a bar space. Oh my gosh, so, so good for a little bar space, whether that's a bar shelf, if you have a man cave, if you have, I have like a little bar shelf, even on a coffee table or a bookshelf, I just thought that these were so beautiful. I love these. I think that they, are stunning. They're like that gorgeous alabaster. Oh my gosh, they're stunning. They almost remind me of something I would see in a celebrity home. I feel like celebrity homes always have these super unique trinkets and I don't love trinkets, but when they're this size, I couldn't decide uh, whether I liked those or whether I liked these. So I actually got both and I'm so glad that I did because again, they just are something that feels very unique, special, it feels very developed over time and they are super nice quality. They're heavy, they're beautiful. All right, you guys, and those are the recent items that I've picked up off of Amazon. Leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite item is and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye.